WebGPU is a low-level API that allows your browser to talk directly to your GPU. Imagine being able to use your graphic card right from your web app. Think of it like a WebGL is a pre-made meal. It's easy to use, but you are limited by what's already cooked for you. WebGPU, on the other hand, is like having access to full kitchen. It's more work, but you can create exactly what you want. WebGPUs is harder to work with because it gives you more control, but that's exactly why developers are excited about it. WebGPUs isn't about making prettier graphics, although it does that too, but it's about performance and efficiency. By reducing the overhead between your browser and GPU, WebGPU allows web apps to perform complex tasks like AI model training, simulations, and real-time rendering. All of this straight from your browser. Okay, so here's a high-level look at how WebGPU works. You can set up something called a rendering pipeline. This involves defining shaders, which are small programs that run on your GPU, and configuring how data flows between the GPU and your application. As of now, not all browsers fully support WebGPU. You'll need the latest Chrome, Firefox, or Safari. It's a low-level mean you'll have to learn how to work with pipelines, shaders, and resource management. It's not as stable feature or rich as native GPU's APIs like Vulkan or DirectX. Now, before learning GPU, Make sure you're comfortable with WebGL, shaders, and basic GPU concepts. The MDN WebGPU guide are a great place to start. The MDN breaks down the concept in more developer-friendly way. You can check out the GitHub repo for GPU, WebGPU projects. It is a very good repository to start with. You can see the link in the description. If low-level APIs feel too overwhelming for you, you can try frameworks like WebGPU or maybe Babylon.js, which are starting to support WebGPU.